and I'm going to leave this here till I do the rest of my face like my eyes and everything <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Hala Masood and I make educational beauty videos. In this video, I will be talking about how to set your face. That is, either you should bake your face or either you should set your face just lightly. Okay, this is a topic that has been on my mind ever since I started doing the videos because I was getting questions even one of my friends asked me a question that why you don't bake your under eye because everybody is baking it and this is what you see on social media on YouTube that everybody is baking it so when you see somebody else doing something else you're like hmm is she right or are they right there is no right or wrong in this like my way could be right for me but not right for you it's all about seeing or and trying new things so this is why I thought that I should do baking your face versus setting your face kind of a video so you guys can really see the difference and all that this video is especially for the girls or guys who have dry skin uh, because I have dry skin so if you have any problems please do see this video till the end before we go ahead with this video please do remember to subscribe to my channel and also press that bell icon so you don't miss any of my new videos i'm also on instagram guys so go ahead and follow me there my link is in the description box below you will get to know that what i do when i'm not filming any makeup videos and what i'm doing in my daily life also love to interact with you guys over there you can also ask me any questions that you like uh, so yeah go ahead and follow me so without further ado let's begin with this video i will start by covering my dark circles you already know how i do it if you follow me you know how i do it so i will do it with my uh, deep concealer if you want to know how i do that the video is linked above I, uh, the video is linked above and it will be in the description box below as well so you can check it out. So this part is done. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead with my foundation before I start ahead with the makeup I want to do give a disclaimer Please don't come at me if you see any difference in my neck and my face because um, I suffer from a, an issue which makes my neck completely different shade than the rest of my body and my face so uh, Yes, please don't uh, I am going to update my foundation according to my neck shade now which is going to be hell dark but anyways for now I'm just going to take the foundation that I have at the moment which is the L'Oreal True Match foundation I'll just mention the shade below in the description box so I'm just taking very little amount and I'm just gonna cover everything up you can take a beauty blender as well you can take a brush as well both are fine whatever suits you I'm just going to take a highlighter because I like to highlight my under eyes. So I'm just going to taking this uh, L'Oreal Infallible, the lighter concealer. The shades will be mentioned in the description box below in the order that I've applied the, each product, okay? Okay. These are the places that I normally highlight. If you want to see the video on how to highlight and contour check out my video there they're in the on the channel and I will try to link each of them over here Now coming to the baking and setting part, so for that I take this, the number 7 translucent powder. For the baking bit, I'm just gonna take the powder on here, load it up, okay, now I'm gonna bake. Okay, 
and I'm going to leave it here as everybody does okay okay and for this side I'm just gonna take a brush like I normally do and I'm just gonna dip it in the powder dust the excess off not too much powder just gonna set it lightly don't worry about the creases my creases are there okay they they don't go away they're inbuilt so I took it twice but just setting it setting it everywhere wherever I get creasing and I'm going to leave this here till I do the rest of my face like my eyes and everything okay guys so I am back after doing most of my makeup uh, if you want to know how I did this eye look it is uploaded in shorts you can go ahead and check that out I will put the link in the description box below as well anyway so I have done I will accept like this eye and now I have done the whole makeup with this underneath my eye I'm going to dust it in front of you guys taking a brush I dusted it off um, it is giving me a very nice highlighted look but we will look it close up but what's the difference now because I can really see the difference and I don't like it but I would like you people to see it as well before that I need to put the blush on because I didn't do that let me do that first to get my blush on first I have a drawer here so now for the highlight the same palette I really like to add a little to my inner corner always so that's done my whole face is complete guys and now for the last test I am going to show you guys up close that how my baked side and how my set face side like this baked makeup and the set makeup look like so on this eye you can see that there are a bit of uh, like a wrinkly surface because my under eyes are a little dry so this is like kind of like how it is how normally it is but over here because I've baked it can you see can you see the patches can you see how it's when I do that it's creasing more it's prominent because of the baking of my um, under eyes because it made it a lot cakier as my skin is dry so it and it's giving me patchy look even I don't know if you can see or not but it's patches everywhere so I hope you guys could see the difference I will also take uh, a video from my phone and uh, attach it in the video So this is the difference between baking and setting your face. I mean, honestly speaking, and honestly, uh, I'm not telling you not to do it. The people who do it and feel that it's like good for them or it works for them, then yeah, go ahead. Makeup is like, it's not a rocket science and it's not something like you have to do this. But if it works for you baking, then go ahead. But I don't bake because my under eye goes crazy. As you just saw, it's like I have dry under eyes. And whenever I bake, it goes extremely bad even though and please don't say that I don't do skincare I do skincare every night every morning I, I give it hydration and I use the eye serums the eye creams everything uh, but my under eyes are generally dry like my whole face is dry but my under eyes if baked get very dry they give a very dry effect so that's why I don't bake them and I set them nicely with powder they're still a bit wrinkly but they're not like 
patchy they're not giving me dry vibes and they're not giving me extreme wrinkles uh, or lines and they're not making making them prominent as they are on this eye so yes that's why i don't bake and i wouldn't recommend anybody who has dry skin to bake your under eyes because it's it's a hassle to be very honest and it makes your under eyes really 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 prominent and it give you all that cakey effect so yes just lightly set them up so that they don't get cakey and they don't dry up on you so that's how i do it i hope this was helpful for you guys whoever is struggling with that i hope it is helpful and it answers the questions of should we bake or should we set our under eyes if it did then please do give me a big thumbs up and i would like to mention here that super thanks is now available on my videos the longer ones and the shorts as well uh, so i would really request you guys to give me a super thanks because that will really really help me to make new content for you guys to buy new equipment for my videos it will all be invested back into my channel even a little bit will help um, obviously so I would be really 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 thankful if you guys can give me a super thanks plus it will tell me that how much invested you guys are in my channel and i will definitely know that which one of you gave me a super thanks because your comment will be highlighted it will be pinned to the top of my comments so yeah i guess this is it then guys if you like this video then do give me a big thumbs up i think i already said that but anyway do give me a big thumbs up please do subscribe to my channel and please do share my video with others uh, also thank you so much for so much guys for supporting me for loving me for being here and and yeah i will see you in the next video very very soon till then stay safe stay happy and stay connected bye bye love you